Let's study how to break the guard on our knees and pass over the leg. Okay, so I'll start inside the close guard. Balance, posture, from here I will go. Open your knees for balance, you can start controlling both collars, keeping your head up, chest forward. Then with your strong hand, you control both collars. As soon as you do this, the other hand, control the pants, punch in the hip down, elbow inside. Now with your legs, same side you have your grip on the chest, you should have your knee behind his hip and spread the other knee right away for good balance. So once you're here, you are in position to break the guard. He's locking his legs very strong. So you're pushing him away with this hand. You're keeping his hip in place with your knee underneath his hip. Your elbow is pushing his knee down, but that's not enough. The last and very important step here is to keep moving my hip back and turning. So my hip does a lot of the work to break the guard, okay? As soon as I break, I wanna release one collar and shrink my elbows here, so I protect my arms. I have two options here. One is to swim underneath and pass the guard, but today we will study how to push the leg down to pass over the leg. So, take my leg out, step over. And for the next step, you have to learn where to put your weight, how to keep balance. Now, I'll transfer all my weight to be on top of him by driving my right shoulder forward and being on my toes, look. That should teach you a lot about balance and about where to put weight. My right shoulder should, should be on his plexus, look. Then I will circle. Note that my right hand is still on his leg. So you have to have good balance. Shoulder heavy on your toes. My right grip is still on his leg. Just when I bring my left knee on his belt, I let this grip go. And then from here to the neck, the other one from the collar to underneath his arm. Hands together, shoulder on his jaw. Solid side mount control. Look at that grip. Thumb, close it. Cup your hands. Shoulder on the jaw, knees off the mats. One more time. Prepare your grips. Prepare your knees. Use your hip. As soon as you do this, shrink your elbow. Control the leg as you're pushing down. Step over. The next step, the faster, the better. But you need to land your right shoulder at the proper spot, which is his plexus. Now I'll walk around. I'll just let it go when my left knee is on his belt. Look. Um, behind the neck. Underneath the arm, cup my hands, heavy, chest heavy. Three points for guard pass if you accomplish that.